Captain's log date July 14th, 1943. After our successful attack on the Japanese Maru, the USS Shroud is currently transiting the Flores Sea. Japanese air cover has been relatively heavy in this area, so we've been submerging during daylight hours, occasionally popping up to radar depth to check our surroundings and then back down. At about 65 nautical miles, the waters become very, very shallow. If we are to get picked up by a Japanese destroyer or hunter-killer group, evasion is going to be extremely difficult. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here and welcome to more Silent Hunter 4 Wolves of the Pacific. We're getting started on part 2 of our 8th patrol here, where hopefully we have some good luck with our torpedoes. We're about to find out though, because we are in pursuit of a lone merchant ship in the Java Sea. Let's go ahead and head to our map. I've already plotted his course. He's heading on a general course of... I, oh boy. Yeah, so 319. That's kind of what I got him going at, and I did a... The speed check using radar and his speed is 8 knots. That's uh, what I have at the moment. We are going at 18 knots. I'm probably, let's go ahead and bump up the flank and try to get there because we have quite a bit of distance to cover. Yeah, 16 nautical miles before we're at the intercept point. We're only 11 nautical miles from him though. I'm not sure. I might have to run parallel with him for a while to uh, get this 90 degree angle that is so desired. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lower our air search radar just to avoid being spotted because that that thing's pretty tall. It's pretty high up there. I don't want him to see our mass before he sees us or anything. So I want a nice low profile. We're going at a brisk 20 knots. I believe our maximum speed is actually 21. Yes, In the right conditions Current we can two, really push it and get to 21 knots, but I guess not right now. So we'll go ahead and use some time compression here. He's not going very fast. Okay, we're starting to pick him up on hydrophones. I'm gonna go ahead and turn and kind of run parallel to him for just a little bit because yeah, at that current track he was gonna spot us. I don't, I doubt we are in visual range just yet. No, probably not. Ooh, so I might end up making this attack in some shallow water. It's kind of looking that way. Hopefully no escorts are in the immediate area. If we do get attacked, we're just a short skip away from some deep water, so that should be alright. Alright, let's turn into his course. Alright, so we have spotted him. Where is he at? Get ready to man battle stations as well. Um... I don't see anything out there. You sure? 292. Let's go to the TBT. 292. Yeah, I don't see Diddly Squad out there. I really don't see anything. Uh, that has me a little concerned. I hope we're not just chasing a sandpan or something. We were picking it up on hydrophones. You know, I do believe some of those sandpans did have motors. All right, well, in any case, let's go ahead and yes, submerge sir. the periscope deck. Where is he? One more check. Yes, sir. 286. Oh, there he is. Okay. Definitely not a sandpan. <laughs> so we're okay on that front. It looks like an Akita Maru. I want to say that's what that guy is. Yeah. Akita Maru, that's my bet. Drive 24 feet, speed 14 knots. It's only going 8 knots. We'll try to get another speed reading on them. We're probably already, yeah, the decks are already kind of getting a wash here. We were going flank. Let's go ahead and watch our boats emerge. Awesome, we could probably slow down to you. He is pretty close, I can see him now, I can see the smoke. Hopefully he has not detected us. And it's fairly bright out today. Which might cause some issues. We're gonna have to limit our periscope exposure. Uh, I'd rather the merchant not spot our periscope. And start zigzagging and botch up my solution. All right, and below we go. Uh, we don't need to be heading 
going flank speed. Let's just go standard for the time being. And let's man battle stations. Now we are going down to 65 feet. No, 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 no. Periscope that. Alright, so we'll level out here. Let's see if we can hear him. I'm sure we can at this point. Let's try to keep tabs on him as well. Yeah, just one merchant ship. Let's make sure there's nothing else out here since we are committing this attack. Okay, those are just my engines. <laughs> That's why they're so loud. If that was a destroyer, that would have been bad. Alright, so nothing else out here, as far as we know. Um, so we will keep tabs on him via hydrophone. And we'll approach his track here. Okay, so we should be in a good position. Let's go ahead and we'll keep heading standard for the time being. Let's go ahead and raise our periscope. And uh, sorry about that. I had to sneeze, and I did not want to sneeze right into my microphone. I'm sure that <laughs> would not have been very pleasurable. All right, so there he is. We can go ahead. Don't need our scope all the way up. We are really hauling ass. Those seven knots. Wow. We could probably slow down. All ahead two thirds. Yes, sir. Ahead two thirds. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm definitely going with Akita Maru. That is what he is. Man, I've been playing this game enough now that I'm starting to memorize the ships. I I, I have the ships in Silent Hunter 3 memorized, but I never really got down the, got them memorized in Silent Hunter 4, which honestly, I kind of liked. <laughs> Not knowing all the ships and such. Anyway, we'll go ahead and align 90 degree angle. Let's go ahead and get this going get this okay yeah he definitely seems like he's um going a lot faster now I, I don't know if I'm just crazy or he looks like he's going about 10 knots oh that's probably because time compression's on that that would make it seem like he's going a lot faster than he is one in it that might have something to do with it all right so I think so we're, yeah we're about 3,000 yards out we can Hmm. No, let's keep accelerating. I want to get very close. Maybe like a thousand yards in. I'm going to try Dick O'Kane method uh, one more time. Or the constant bearing method. I'm debating using one of our... Oh, well, yeah. I'm going to use one of our new torpedoes. I don't want all of these loaded in. Um, after this attack, I'm going to unload some of these Mark 18s. And put Mark 14s back in. But I am going to use the magnetic magnetic pistol. Should I only shoot one torpedo? That is the question. Yeah, I don't know. Should I use the constant bearing method? I haven't used it in a while, so I'm kind of nervous too. And I don't want to miss. I'm just not confident in my ability to do it. I have my notes here. So... Okay, Mark. I have my notes, so I, I should be able to do it, theoretically. Eight knots. Still going eight knots. Sounds good. I don't need you anymore. Get out of here. Alright, so for this method, range, we're going to set to maximum. 62,000 yards. Mark. And... AOB it's going to be an 80 degree angle I believe mark okay and speed is 8 knots mark so now theoretically all we need to do is just lay and wait for the ship to cross here um, I do want to get closer if we are using this method I want to get you know under a thousand yards so we'll keep plucking along at the speed actually let's go five knots 
Let's increase speed yep. just a smidge. And let's lower our scope so he doesn't see the wake that we are producing from going such high speeds. Uh, I think I got everything set here. I think I have everything set. I am not sure though. So we need to set up our torpedo though. So I think all of our, yeah we'll shoot tube one. Just make it easy. So the Mark 18s only have one speed setting. It's like 29 knots I believe and we want to do contact influence. Let's see here. The draft on this bad boy is 24 feet. And these are fairly calm seas, so I don't think the torpedo will get bounced around any. So we'll just set our torpedo depth to 25 feet. No offset angle or anything like that, and that should be good. Let's check our check on here. Um oh, I know what's up. We need to send that There we go. That's that's better. So it's about a 16 degree lead angle. Uh, I'm kind of nervous about this. I hope I got everything right. We'll find out though. So now we just lay and wait for the target's approach. Let's go ahead and get follow nearest contact for favor. Oh, we still have quite a while, so we can use some time compression. So let's, in the meantime, let's actually check. What's the top speed? 29, yeah, so I was right. 29 knots for this torpedo. Yeah, he's just... Check on here. Okay, so range is getting pretty good. Let's go ahead and let's. Hmm. The closer, the better, though. Like 700 yards. All right, let's go ahead. All ahead, one knot. I just want to get like 50 RPM going. I just want to be barely moving. Just so it's a little easier to keep the boat under. Yeah, 50 RPM, perfect, perfect. I wish you could manually set RPM and stuff uh, in the Silent Hunter games. I wish you had a little bit more control, like controlling what your starboard engine and port engine does and such, but oh well, these are wishes. Whoever's thinking of making a Silent Hunter successor, <laughs> start taking notes. I'm joking, even though I hope eventually, one day. Three, two, one. Okay, he's getting there. Bearing three, three, seven. Okay, but what he's saying is not really aligning up with this. Okay, let's take a peek. Okay, yeah, he's coming. He's a coming. Open tube one. Everything's set. So I'll aim right for the middle just to give... Oof, I'm nervous. I'm nervous doing this. Periscope's getting water all over it. Oh, that is very close. See all of his guns and everything. We are so close to him. I'd rather. I don't really want my periscope to be up too high. All right, get ready to fire. All right, bow is passing scope now. We'll shoot right at the stack. Tube one. Tube one, fire. Firing tube one. All right, tube one is away. Now we lay in wait. Wow, that's a short run time. Let's go ahead and follow our torpedo. Wow, it's running pretty deep. Okay, it's turning towards him. And it's magnetic, so I'm not too worried about the uh, the angle. Oh, shit, where did our torpedo go? Oh, wow, it's actually going pretty quick. <laughs> Which is good. This actually looks pretty sweet. I don't know. I feel like he's moving kind of fast. We'll find out. So we're going to hit a tad aft if we don't just completely whiff here. Uh, but we got him. 
Right in the engine room. There we go. All right, so, hmm. Maybe he was going a little faster than eight knots. We probably could have shot a little sooner. But we did get a hit, and that's really, that's all that counts, I'm gonna be honest. A hit is a hit. One torpedo, one ship. So, that was right in the engine room. I don't, and he only has a forward gun. We could surface and finish him off with a dead gun, or just lay in wait and see what he does. But I feel like his uh, engines would be disabled after a hit like that. He's taking on water, he's definitely listing. But it looks like he's still, yeah, he's listing pretty heavily. Oh yeah, she's gonna go down. Bearing three zero. Okay, I need you. Okay, she's going down. Hell yeah, awesome. Let's go ahead and watch it through the scope since we're so close to him. Beautiful. So, hopefully now our hydrophone operator is sweeping. <laughs> the waters for uh, enemy contact approaching us that took quite a while the sun's starting to go down I think I don't want to look at the sun with my periscope that's probably not <laughs> probably not a good idea I'm sure that would mess up your eyes oh well, there goes one more Akita Maru so let's take a look at our <laughs> that's three ships done uh, and that Akita Maru was 3,972 tons so not too shabby one ship one torpedo Okay, so af after seeing our torpedo situation, I need to turn off auto loading and f no, 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 no. They're already loading a Mark 14 or Mark 18. My apologies. I want two Mark 18s loaded, and I'm gonna load Mark 14s and the rest. I really need to start using my stern torpedo tubes. We've already expended what four forward torpedoes. We've only been at sea for oh my god, we've only been at sea for 11 days. We are on a roll. Well, there's one Maru down. Down scope. We'll stay submerged for a little bit. Let's increase speed to three knots. I'll stay on battle stations while I uh, load these torpedoes. And we need to navigate away from those islands. So let's cut pretty close to the to Java here. Why not? I adjusted our course to kind of hug the coast of Java. Um, trying to pick up some trouble. That's all that that is. So. Anyway, I will cut here and I'll see you folks shortly whenever something interesting develops. Welcome back everybody, Wolfpack here. And we are, oh, I don't know why I'm saying it like this, but this is just another break in the episode, I, I forgot. So we've encountered a merchant ship coming towards us. Well, kind of, we're more coming towards it. It's heading due east, pretty much a 90 degree course. And we are turning towards him and we are going to engage him. I'm well ahead of him. I went ahead and got his track here and his rank or his speed. Um, they're saying 750 knots or oh my god, seven and a half knots. Um, I think he's probably going more like eight. Actually, I don't know. Maybe he's going less because they're saying his speed is slow. So I'm not too sure, but we are approaching um, his track. So we're probably going to submerge shortly. I am heading flank speed. I reloaded our torpedoes, so we have two of the Mark 18s and the rest are Mark 14 torpedoes. I'll probably use a Mark 14 during this attack due to the fact that, well, he is uh, a lone ship. I'm kind of debating using the deck gun, though. We have 59 rounds that we really need to get rid of, and I don't, I don't know. There's no better place to get rid of those rounds than out in the middle of nowhere against a lone ship. The problem is we're using, I could use a stern torpedo as well. I don't want to use all of my torpedoes on the way up to the South China Sea and the home islands. I'd rather be a little more conservative here. But hmm, we'll, we'll take a look at what he is and also how many guns he has. That is the most important part. If he has a, let's go ahead and cross this track here. We'll set up for a submerged stern torpedo attack. And also, this will just be a good opportunity to take a good look at him, see what he, what kind of armament he has on the deck. So, periscope depth, periscope and we can depth. slow down now. All ahead, one third. Yes, sir. Periscope depth. I highly doubt we are in visual range. He's still pretty far out there. Oh yeah, yeah, we have a while to wait. So, uh, let's 
go ahead and just pretty much all stop. Just, just barely crawl. Oh. Looks like we're in shallow waters now. The submarine is close to the bottom of the sea. Really? Okay, we have 67 feet of water underneath us, so yeah, definitely no crash diving or anything like that. And my hydrophone... Okay, there we go. He's picking him up now. It's actually... Oh, hello. You changed course. Um, let's go up to radar depths. All ahead one third. God, what a sneaky, sneaky little merchant ship. Okay, it looks like he's heading northeast now. Yes, sir. Radar depth. Are we at radar depth now? Yeah, 42 feet. I don't know why. Uh, we're just kind of... I hate how it does that. Alright, all I had two thirds surface the boat. Oh, and it's becoming daylight. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about a dead gun attack now. Still going. No, he changed speed as well. Changed course and speed. Typical. Maybe he's doing a zigzag course type deal. Um, yes, let's sir. turn towards him all head full. Do we see him? 285. Oh wow, still no visual contact. He looks like he's getting pretty close. I need to kind of get a new track on him though. Uh, I think he's generally just moving northeast, but... Yeah. We are in shallow water, sir. Yeah, I, I get that. Okay, we can turn towards him and... Dive to periscope depth. He's going. He's pretty much on a collision course with us, so might as well dive now. We still have no visual contact on this fellow. Yes, sir. Periscope depth. Wow. Oh, there he is. Are y'all blind? <laughs> I was about to say he has to be fairly close. All right. Oh, now you spot him. Thanks. Let's try to get past him here and. Uh, set up a stern torpedo shot. Where is he? There he is. Okay. Um, yeah, this is interesting. I have no idea what that is, especially from this shoddy angle. Okay, I'll head one third. Block on target. Um, no, negative. It looks like one of the older ships. Hog Island Freighter? Could be it. That funnel in the back is kind of kind of a giveaway, so we're looking for something like that. It's probably this one. This is just the Japanese variant of the Hog Island Freighter. So yeah, let's lock that in. Looks like it has a gun platform in the back. Um, so I'm really thinking deck gun it. Wow, this is this is perfect though. Okay, let's go ahead and uh try to establish a speed here. He's kind of moving at a pretty brisk clip. I'm thinking 10 knots. Let's go ahead and mark. Let's see here. This top speed is 11 knots, so unless he's going flank, I feel like a ship like this wouldn't be going, you know, putting on the coals like that. I don't know the reason. Guns? Guns? No guns? I don't see any guns. Well, if he has no guns, we're surfacing. There's no point in wasting a torpedo on a ship with no 
defensive capabilities. So let's go ahead and mark this. We're at three minutes. Just to see. 11 knots. Wow, he's going flank speed. Okay. Uh, does he really have no guns? I'm kind of surprised. And we can turn this off. I'd be very surprised if he turns out he doesn't have anything on there, but I, I legitimately do not see anything on the deck. Well, I guess we'll find out. Man your battle stations. General quarters, general quarters, all hands Let's get everyone on there. Okay, uh, deck crew is ready. Let's get someone on the flat gun too, just in case. And let's raise our air search radar. Emergency surface. <laughs> Why not? Blow to ballast. Let's come up really fast and get him. This is going to be a shock for him. All head flank. Oh, we're about to find out if he has guns real soon. <laughs> oh boy, yep, he sure does. Okay. I did not see that. Alright, let's turn this gun over. Uh, yeah, about 1,500 yards. Where's the gun? Fire. Good hit, good hit. Okay, it looks like the gun... It's kind of concealed over there. They did a good job at... Oh, that was close. Fire, fire. They get a, did a pretty good job of concealing it. I really can't see it. I just see the muzzle flash. Uh, let's turn about 10 degrees here. New course, three, three, zero. Give them a pretty shoddy angle to uh, hit us at. We're getting good hits, though. That's the benefit of this. If we keep a zigzag course, keep confusing the gun crew. They haven't really gotten close to us. They are putting shells out at a fairly fast pace, though. I really don't see that gun. Alright, hopefully we don't get hit, though. <laughs> that could be very bad. Okay, maybe I see a gun? I... Well, we'll use the external camera in a bit and take a look. Fire. Getting good waterline hits here though. Those shells are getting pretty close, so let's keep turning. Yes, New course, three, five, two. Yes, sir. New course, three, five, two. Ooh, that was pretty close. I heard the roar of that one over my head. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Holy cow! Well, there we go. That was easy. Wow, I, w <laughs> I was not expecting it to be that easy. Like a, This looked like a pretty old ship, so it's probably a World War I construction. I don't see a gun. Maybe it blew up. I guess it did blow up. Legitimately, oh my god. G jump off, guys. Burning alive up there. Yeah, I don't see a gun. But yeah, this is a pretty old looking ship, so I'm sure it is uh, pre-war construction. Which might have contributed to uh, it snapping in half like a stick. <laughs> that was pretty brutal. That was fairly easy. I'm glad we used a deck gun. And we didn't use uh, a torpedo. Because that would have been a waste of a torpedo with how easy this thing was to take out. Alright, well, uh, follow plotted course. Yes, Returning to course, sir. And I'll go yes, ahead sir. and uh, unman battle stations. Wow, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. How about that? Well, there goes another merchant ship. So, with that, I will thank you all for watching. That's a good conclusion to the episode. I will see you guys next time on part number three, where hopefully we make it to the South China Sea. We've had quite a few distractions. Uh, lots of merchants. We're leaving a trail of destruction <laughs> on our way up to the South China Sea, which I'm not really complaining. But, um, just makes me wish I had a few more torpedoes. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.